All right, so here we are. Uh, quick tactics training. I know you haven't done any tactics this week, <laughs> so we're gonna do it together. Uh, this time, guys, instead of doing the rated tactics, let's try to do a, a puzzle rush. That way, regardless of your rating or your experience, you get to you get something out of it. Because if we just keep it at that level, many of you, many people might not be able to follow. So we start easy. Anyways, it's good warm up, and like I tell my students. Even if you think they're a waste of time because they're too easy, um, they could, I'm pretty sure that many of our games, they're decided because of simple tactics like that. So we have to, we have to review it anyways. Hey, 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 nice to have you here. Like always, perfect. Hey, hey. So I'm gonna get going guys. Let me see, I think the highest I've done here is 55. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can do, I was doing it before with one of my students. He made it to 40, so that's good. Let's see, let's see how it goes now. So let me click play. Let's not waste time. And all right, so let me go here. Perfect, so why to move? Now, these first ones, try to do them as we go along because I'm not gonna, uh, let's try not to waste too much time on them, okay? Because I know like the checkmate one moves, back ranks, we, we know by, by heart. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so this one obviously is just getting the rook. So let me get this one out of the way. You see, this back ranks, we know this by heart, right? So there we go. This one, another back rank. This is like the one rook checkmate. All right, mister, there you go. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, so this one, um, same thing. So take your time anyways. I'm not going to, for the first, uh, exercises I'm not going to wait for your answer but I'm gonna give you some time to try to think of your of your move hello 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 <laughs> so let me see this one maybe the bishop free piece absolutely absolutely this one come on checkmate and guys again I know I said it but many people tell me oh those are just too easy I don't like doing them well you don't know how many people I see that they miss this in their everyday games so we have to be we have it doesn't hurt to train them anyways okay now this one the same pattern and then this one the same pattern as before and this one c4 discovered and I gotta make sure when I do this kind of discovered attack or discovered checks that they cannot cover okay so the queen if it goes to d4 or e3 can i take them well c4 if they go here i take it but what if they go to d4 is there anything i could do so that's something that we have to keep in mind so i'm gonna actually leave the, this up to you and that way i can catch up in the comments and just let me know let me know what you're doing this in this game do we do c4 right away do we do something else <laughs> well, first of all, congrats. Um, just know that you reached 12,000, uh, 1200. That doesn't mean that's it. It's very likely you're gonna go back down to 1100 until you adjust. In the meantime, just make sure that you're really adjusted to it. And I think continue to work hard on your tactics, man. Tactics, tactics, tactics. That's the main thing. Still, that's gonna be the main thing for you. Uh, Rook takes night after. Wait, 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 let me see what you guys have. Thank you, thank you, and welcome aboard. And hopefully, I hope that we can help you get to that next level, okay? If you have any questions, we meet here every Thursday live, but also you can just read through the comments because many questions have been asked or just ask any question you might have, okay? Okay, so let me see what, what I got. Rook takes night after. After do e5, c4, queen d4, e5. No, they take our queen. No, 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 no. Mm, rook f3 first. No, I don't think rook f3 can be is a move. Like if rook f3, they just take with the queen, and that's it. Now I think. Okay, there you go. This is this is it. I think this is it. So c4, queen d4, we take. Then we do rook takes rook and we collect this. This is the only move order that works, guys. You see, this one is not that complicated, but still 
we can get confused very easily. Um, <laughs> find the charger, find the charger. Bishop d4, there you go. No, rook f3 first doesn't work. Okay. All right, man, look at you, look at you, perfect. There we go. And then we take, and then th this is another discovered attack, but this one actually picks up a piece, good. Sí, viste, Pedrito, eso, eso es lo que pasa. Aquí no, no se crean que porque llegaron a un nivel ya, ahora tienes que ganarte, ganarte tu lugar ahí en, lo, en los 1500 y tienes que volver a subir y te van a volver a bajar hasta que ya te ajustes a ese, a ese nivel. Así que, bienvenido al club. Um, queen h4, there you go. And here, if they go back, well, we take with, with the bishop. Pawn takes, we get the rook, right? So we have to calculate, guys. And of course, if they do something else, we get the knight. So check, and we get the knight. Free knight, absolutely. Look at Richard. Richard showing off with his uh, with his PJs on. Okay, this one is a very easy pin. Give me the queen. <laughs> Rook G8. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, okay. So this is this is for the other one. How about for this one? This one's pretty straightforward, but still, I'm gonna wait for someone to give me the move. Hanging around 2,000, 1,900 for a long time. <laughs> How to cross 2,100? Okay, so at this point, I'm assuming you are, and I think you are, because uh, I know you are, you've been putting some time into it. Um, I'm assuming you're really training your end games. You're still working hard on your um, your tactics, and you're sharpening your openings. That's that's what you need to cross at 2,100. Tactics, end games. Especially what we've been talking about lately, which is that transition from opening, I mean, from middle game to end game, trying to look for a favorable end game. This is where you're going to outplay many of your opponents at that, at that level. Okay, knight e3, knight takes knight, knight f3, queen f3, yeah, that's it. So guys, I take, they take back, and after queen takes, I'm going to be hitting f2, and I'm going to be hitting the rook. So that has to be it. And... Give me the rook. There you go. Time, it's time, it's time. <laughs> okay, rook b6. Christian in the house. How are you, mister? Uh, okay, so rook b6, uh, rook b6, guys, and this is checkmate. I don't know. I feel like I've seen this one before. I don't know, but that's it. And mate, perfect. So let me see. How many have we done so far? 13? Okay. Now, what if I do... Okay, let me try this. Let me try this. Um, I think it's going to be better if we show this. about this this is just me 
doing unnecessary stuff. And put it right here. So that way we know how many we've got so far. Okay, so what do we got? Rookie Shade. What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Rook H8, Rook G8, and Rook H6 mates. So check, check. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So check, check, G4, and then two Rook checkmate. Okay, so now we're talking. Um, there we go. No, no, no. There's no such a thing. Uh, whenever you feel, whenever you're ready, whenever you feel like you want to try it, go for it. Like if you go to a tournament, guys, don't forget, it's gonna be by sections. You're not gonna be playing with the best or people who are really experienced. They're gonna be putting it by rating. So you might go to the first tournament and play in the under 800, for example. So they're gonna have the open section where the top players play, but then you have under 2100, under 1800. So you may be playing in the under 1100, under 800, which means you're only playing people of that rating maximum, maximum 1100 or something like that. So whenever you feel like you want to give it a try, look for tournaments around you, sign up, choose your section, and go for the experience, okay? Perfect, there you go. So guys, this is a basic deflection. I want to get the queen for free, but the rook is defending. Well, I'm going to force rookie one, they have to take me, and that's it. The queen is mine. So check, and we take. Are you saying I'm are you saying I'm really really quick or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, we had we had a lesson on it. Um uh, I think it's 72 I believe where we went over how to prepare any opening, but look, mainly what you want to do, if you already have the foundation from those videos, uh, any games that you could review, and I showed on that lesson 72 how to find games, master games, or any games in general. Uh, if you've any books, they're going to help you as well. And don't be like, oh, I, I want a really good book. Any book is going to help you guys. You're always going to get something from, from any book you read, from any game that you analyze, from any article. So just find more. Uh, content on it and play it play it play it play it and when you play it review games after something that i'm doing lately well let me see if someone gave me the move okay 98 95 queen a8 made in two okay man you are on fire i'm impressed i'm impressed so you definitely have been putting putting in the work guys 95 is a cool idea but it has to be forcing so check then king goes up 95 checkmate because of the pin so check and this is made. Boom. Very good, very good. Okay, so I was saying uh, one thing that I'm doing now is um, just playing a few games like long time format against engines. So I'm here on chess.com. You could find an engine around the rating that you wanted to. It could be 1000, 1500, 2000, 2300. Just play that opening. Uh, I mean, play that engine. Have him play white if you want to practice the King's Indian defense and just play it when you're done review with the engine and see the mistakes that you made and so on and if there's a line that you did you didn't know then look at the theory and so on okay so bishop b5 pretty simple they have to block with the bishop and mate so what is this 17 good <laughs> too fast. <laughs> this is a nice one. This is a very nice one. Yes, but give me the whole thing, guys. Give me the whole thing. So King C7, what if I go King E8? I'm about to promote now. And promote with checkmate. 
Exactly, so, exactly. So that's the idea. So the main thing that we gotta know here is that this pawn is a protected pass pawn. So this is this is the win, right? So I just need to neutralize this guy. So I go king c7, king e8, then I go check. King has to stay close to the pawn, and then I go knight e6, controlling that promotion square. Pawn is on the control. If the king takes me, I get in the way, and then my pawn is gone. If they go after the pawn, like if they find a way to get to the pawn, well, my king takes and that's that's it. I could go through here or I think more accurately, I should go around and get this pawn. So that should be that should be it. So here we go. Check. That's it. All right. Uh, this one. Take your time. This is number 19 we're doing right now. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, Sucks one. Absolutely, like like we have talked about before. I know you're new to the to the channel, but uh, openings are not a big deal, especially to get to 1800. You don't need to go crazy about your openings. Make sure that you're comfortable with where you play, and mainly tactics. But also, it's gonna help you a lot to study end games. You don't have to go crazy, like read a whole book on end games, but have a good foundation. If you go to the channel, there's a playlist. If you go to playlist, there's a playlist on end game. If you go through all of those end games that are simple but good enough to get you past 1800 easily oh guys guys let's just shut this down roberto is, roberto is here so let's do let's do something else <laughs> roberto what's going on e takes e4 and then d takes e4 we get two pieces so guys here is just finding the right move order so if we count the material we are um down a piece so we gotta make sure that we we capture the, the more the more forcing way so if we do t d takes e4 they move the knight but if we do take here then we're hitting queen we're hitting bishop so e takes d4 and then d takes c4 we end up with an extra piece so there we go and simplification even better that's it romania how are you what part what part of romania <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you gotta start. You gotta start slowly. You gotta. Uh, first thing that I like to do with my students is, we just let's say they look at the board first. Start with the board, no pieces, but you have the board. And let's say you go like, okay, what if there is a knight on b1? Um, how many moves for it to get to g8? And you try to visualize that from b1. I go to c3. I go to e4, and so on. Right. Also, there's a very good egg, um, drill here in chess.com which is the vision one. I think it's, uh, let me see, vision, vision, no. Okay, there's one, is it? okay, this one. If you go to, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I go full. Okay, over here it says vision that they just ask you, like the coordinates, like D5, you have to click on it and that's gonna help you. Then you start with checkmate one moves, but I'm for it. Then checkmate two moves and simple tactics. And eventually you're gonna start playing full games also we have talked about the two by two the three by three technique so all of that is going to help you but do it gradually don't do it too much it could be counterproductive as well okay guys so what, what do we have here rook rook h8 okay no knight g3 first and then we go um rook h8 so check forcing move and then after this they can only block but we take and that's checkmate check eight here you go Now this one, if you know the rule of the square, you should be fine, but also there are not many options, right? So if I go a4, I imagine my square, the king cannot get in it in the next move. So this is gonna be it, that's it, perfect. Now this one, piece of cake, come on.
<laughs> you didn't feel bad about Antonio? <laughs> okay, there you go. Knight. It's not 96, it's 93, but I, I get it. I get it. 93, guys, checkmate. Queen is pinning it. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to 23. What? Free, who said free bishop? Free bishop? Knight d3, mate. Come on. Why are you talking about this one that we have right now? <laughs> okay, so this one. Cha cha cha. Okay, nice. Nice one, actually. Ni nice one, actually. Yep, very good. Yeah, this one is nice. This one is nice. Well, this is number 22 already, so it's going to get a little bit more more challenging. Yeah, come on. Give me the whole thing, guys. Come on. Are you just asking? You're just asking. Okay, that's a different story. Well, night takes, right? Come on, Richard. Come on. Uh, night of six. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, guys, get you. Come on, get you gotta get your core. I mean, not that I care, but if you're a chess player, you gotta know your coordinates. Come on. I know you got it. But uh, yeah, bishop c3, then queen e4. So once we eliminate the knight, queen can go to e4, and you have to realize that the rook is trapped. The knight cannot go any, um, anywhere to block because we take it. So that's it. Take. Take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, welcome to the club. Don't think we are <laughs> too ahead from uh, ahead from you. So we're still we're still missing this. We're still missing this. So lesson forty one. What was that? Forty one is uh, about pawn. Okay, it's not maybe backward pawn something like that. <laughs> so you still okay? That, those are very powerful lessons. That's a very good foundation you gotta have. Absolutely, absolutely. Backward pawn. Okay. <laughs> There you go, there you go. So I still remember. So backward pawn. Uh, come on, guys. What's going on? No one knows this one? But look, if you're still in lesson 40, 41, from there, you got to be doing these drills. You got to be doing your tactics, tactics, tactics. It's good that you know that this positional part, but tactics is the most important thing, okay? Queen e4, queen e4, queen e4. No, I think we're talking about another one. Queen takes a four and... Don't, don't be lazy, guys. Give me this and then the, the next move. Just the next move. Okay, then queen d2. Mm, what the, what's the threat about that? Well, yeah, it's just a check. If they go here, queen d2, right? I'm hitting the knight. And if the knight leaves, I'm going to go queen e1. Now, if we go queen f2, um, knight e3, we take on... I mean, queen f4, knight e3, then queen f2, hitting the knight, hitting the bishop. That has to be it. Of course... Double check, guys, that there are no mates or anything like that here. We're fine. So check, and we take. And of course, now should we take with the knight, or should we take with the king? So we got. I know you know the answer to it, but we have to be careful. Now, if I take with the knight, they take on b8. So I think I'm taking with the king, and if they take the knight, not only it is less material, but it's not even checked. So I, I continue to go. So there we go. Now, what's the next move here? Take with the king, good. So what do we do now? <laughs> and I'm only asking guys because we need, we cannot just play fast. Oh, it must be this. We have to really think 
like if we were playing a real game, calculate if I do this, if I do that. Ah, queen e3, of course, take the knight, and that's it. Okay, next one, white to move. Queen e1 check. Ooh, this one is nice. This one is very nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a good idea to just switch to something else. <laughs> discover check on queen. Okay, so I think you got it. You, you got the discover time. Okay, 95. Okay, but then what if the bishop takes? Okay, well, I think you guys got it. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Take your time. Take your time. We're not going to say anything. Queen takes knight. Come on, lazy people. Just, just put it, put it. Organized. That way, that way we know what we're talking about. Um. <laughs> no, because we're doing the, the postal rush. Um. So we're just going with, with the flow. And the first ones were pretty easy, so I didn't want to give like four minutes for really easy ones. And for this one, guys, just take some time. Try to calculate. Try to calculate. Okay, I got pawn to d5 as a move. I got 95 as a move. Yeah, but remember, we want to go with the if checks. If there are no checks, that makes sense. Captures, no captures, then threats. So here, d5 is a threat, 95 is a threat. But also pay attention to the pieces. Are there any hanging pieces and, and, and so on, okay? So I see it. Got it in my head. <laughs> okay, let me see. 95. Um, bishop takes e5, d takes e5, attacking the queen. Okay, you got it, man. You got it. You got it. So, guys, the key here is realizing that after 95 so look when you go 95 you're hitting the bishop right and you're hitting the queen so they have to do something about that queen if the queen leaves thank you for the bishop if they take only five now the key is to realize that when i take back i'm doing another discover attack on this queen and the queen cannot go anywhere to defend this bishop so they have to move the queen and i'm going to just collect the bishop now of course if you find this, you gotta go back and double check. What if after 95 they take with the rook? Well, same thing. What if after 95 they take with the bishop, I take back, and they go bishop d3? So all of these things are very, very important, okay? Ninety-five. Okay, so let's see. There we go. Got it. Force and move, absolutely. Force and move. And yeah, this one is piece of cake. If you've made it this far, if you've made it to number 25, you should be able to pick this up. Again, we look at checks. Queen takes, rook takes, rook takes back to the one. Now this one is a back rank made at the end of the day. But guys, also, you gotta consider, what if after this, they just block? Well, we just take, I know, easy, but we gotta consider it. That's it. Look at Roberto showing off, like, oh, I, I, this is easy. I saw it in no time. <laughs> Roberto is like, man, stop picking on me, just <laughs> do something else. <laughs> okay, so black to move. All right, this one is easy too. Um, rook h4, yeah, this is one rook cutting off the king and mate, We're almost reaching number 30. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Keep training consistently. Also, don't forget, it, take breaks. It's okay to take breaks. Take a weekend off, no chest, do something else. That helps as well, okay? Especially when you are getting into a new, a new level. Break, break, break. Absolutely. Okay, but then what after that? What after Queen C7, King A6, Rook A1, what if King B5? How do we continue? Queen D7? Wait, wait, you guys are gonna drive me crazy. Queen D7, Queen C8, what? Okay, Queen C7 is good. Okay, 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 you see. So now I have a different candidate move here. So Queen C7, King A6, we have one candidate move, two candidate moves. Now, Queen C6 looks more promising because the king doesn't escape. So king has to go here. Then what if we go Rook A1 right now? King B4, then we could do Rook B7, right? Now, again, this is a perfect example of exercises where we'll be like, oh, it has to be King C uh, Queen C7. Everyone knows that. But instead of doing it and then see what happens, try to have everything in your head before you do the first move, guys. It's not about you getting it right. It's about you uh, improving your ability to calculate. So, all right. Uh, rook A1, no, that's not mate. That's not mate. They could just go to b5, okay? So again, queen c7, I think it's queen c6. Then king a5. Now I go check. King goes over here, rook b7. So the three pieces working together. It depends, man. If you're, if you're a med student, <laughs> it's going to be more challenging. It's going to be more challenging than to someone... Like, I have students who've made it there re relatively easily because all they do is, is chess, right? Like, maybe they do a few other things at school and soccer and this and that, but they have more time. All right, so that's it. <laughs> you see, that one, they didn't ask me for more, but I did get a lot of... I did get a lot out of that exercise because I pushed myself. Very important. Okay, very good. No, 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 no. Okay, I hope that you saw it. You saw it already. Oh, that was better. So queen c7, king a6, queen b7. Yeah, that was better. That was better. That was better. Let me see. Um, let me see if I can show it. Yeah, that was way better. <laughs> so that one, let me see if I can show. Okay. So that one, guys, if I show you little, uh, down here, it was queen takes pawn, king a6, queen b7. You're right. King stays on the A rank. Uh, or the A file, and then Rook A1 checkmate. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Desperado in the air. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So Rook C2. Uh, Rook C2. Lionel, Lionel, how are you? So, Lionel, I see you a lot in the in the comments. Nice to see you here as well, my friend. We're just doing some tactics, proving these guys that they're not as advanced as they think they are. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, okay, now we're talking. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Welcome aboard. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, rook of three, guys, that has to be the move. Like, if you look at this idea of Desperado, fine, we have to look into it. But the thing is that when they take the, the, the queen, we take the queen, knight takes, we're just down material. 
Now, we look at checks, we look at captures. This is one capture, this is another one, this is another one, but we just trade. However, rook f3, you cannot um, take my queen because I checkmate you. And if you take my rook, then I get this. But at least I got something out of, uh, 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 something for my rook, right? So if, if I'm going down, if I'm going down, something is going down with me, which is a knight. So Roberto, you were right. It's a desperado. You're right. So take and thank you. Perfect. Okay, this one is nice. Simple, but really nice. Well, I'm not sure about educating, but... <laughs> All right, all right, all right. There you go, there you go. Yeah, queen of six, guys. Congrats. If you found this, I know it's not that complicated, but it's very nice to realize that there's a pin, queen of six, and that's that's the end. <gasps> Win <Wait>, check! <laughs> oh, man. We're so proud of us. So, look, look, look. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. No more, no more queen of six, win check. <laughs> All right, so let's think about this again. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I bet Roberto was about to call everyone and tell him in the club, I found this, I found this tactic. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Move pawn? What do you mean move pawn? Move pawn where? We're in check, guys, we're in check. Now, by process of elimination, we cannot put this here. Um, we gotta move the king. Now, again, and this is another one, when you get to a tough level, uh, process of elimination, like it cannot be this, it cannot be this, so it's one of these two. Now, if I go back here, I get checkmated, so it has to be king f1, that's it. Now we gotta find the right move. And what's the right move? Okay, I found it, I found it. Okay, so take your time. <laughs> yeah, king f1, king f1. But now how do we continue from here? Now, notice, guys, that they couldn't take the rook before because of the same move, queen f6, of course. Egg, yeah, there you go. Now, rook d7, killer move. And once we do that, queen has to leave, no checks, and we checkmate over here. That's it. Next one. Okay, so this is, we made it to 30. Let's see if we can make it to 40 next. From now on, every time you see a checkmate in one move, you're gonna look at your checks first, or your king first. Yep, you got it. Well, glad to glad to have you here. If you have any questions, ask. This is the moment, okay? Anyways, we're, we're here live every Thursday in the morning. Well, morning for me. Okay, rook to e1. Everyone saw that one, good. So we go rook e1. Guys, again, look at checks. If checks don't work, we look at captures, then we look at threats. There we go, mate. By order of the... <laughs> Can't believe we missed that check, guys. There you go. Rookie one, no, rookie one. There's no why not. Rookie one. All right, this is the this is the, the time to excel. One oh nine in the morning. You know, I did a live stream yesterday, guys. Uh, it was late at night. No one was connected because it was for for members only. So there are not many people. I mean, members is not the same amount of people. But I was there doing my live stream, playing a, a rapid game, and no one was watching. Unbelievable. <laughs> bishop f6, bishop f6, no, queen h7, we get captured. So the, the trick here is that we take on f6, 
bishop is pinned, so they cannot take. And if they take with the queen, then this is going to be captured. Now, one thing about this exercise is that we're losing by a piece. So I think we got queen, queen, two rooks, two rooks, two bishops, two bishops. So even if we get the knight, we have the same amount of material. But now that I look at it, we have um, we have two more pawns. So bishop f6, this, this should be winning. This should be winning. All right, so there we go. And boom. All right, white to move. Bishop f6, there you go. Remove the defender, very good. You know, you have improved a lot. You've been with uh, here, uh, friends with, the ch uh, you've been a good friend of this channel for a long time. And at the beginning, I don't think you were this sharp uh, when, it comes to, when it comes to tactic. So you have definitely made a, a lot of progress. <laughs> Not h4. Guys, don't forget this is hanging. Don't forget this is hanging. Aha, the correct rook move. Exactly, exactly. Bishop f1. No, this is hanging. This is hanging. Knight h4. And nope. This is hanging. Rook h2. Okay, so let's see. It's either this or this. If we go rook g1 then queen takes on h3 and leaves. So rook h2, the queen is trapped. Cannot go down here, cannot leave, and cannot go anywhere here. So it has to be rook h2. So boom, that's it. Okay, now they're getting a little bit more sophisticated. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take that as the candidate move. So that's one candidate move. There's so much. The, now, the, what's gonna happen with the next exercises, guys, is that we're gonna have different options, and then it's tough to pick. The, there are like two, three moves that seem like the right move, and we have to be accurate and pick the pick the best one. Like maybe the other two give you an advantage, but there's one that gives you a, more, a clearer, bigger advantage. We have to go for that one. So okay, so bishop f6 I like, queen before I like. Uh, fork how? Because we could do g5 as well. So look, first thing I like to do is I have two mana pieces, two mana pieces, rook, rook. So I have queen versus rook and two mana pieces. So check and I get the rook. This has to be sufficient material. Now, do they have any checkmates after that? Check, I leave. I don't think so. Um, yeah, anything else, it's not going to be that big a deal. So it has to be queen before and we collect. It has to be. Uh, collect the rook, g5, okay. Now, first thing that came to mind was g5 or bishop takes, king takes, g5. I was trying to decide which one was better. But queen before has to be the move. Like, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. That's not the move. Ha, ha, ha. Is it the move? Because look, I'm thinking queen before, let's say they move, you get the rook. What if bishop d2? Like maybe it's not checkmate, but it's a fork. Queen takes, um, rook takes, king takes. We are left with three mana pieces versus, hmm. I don't know, I don't think that's so clear. <laughs> it has to be g5 for bishop f6. Roberto, don't get excited. I don't know if, if, it's, gonna, if it's gonna be g5. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, the thing with these moves, is that this one is nice. No, it has to be g5, it has to be g5. It has to be g5, because the thing with g5 is that, well, if I take, wait, 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 wait. Takes, takes, g5, is check. Now, the thing with g5, if bishop f6 first, is that this comes with a check, it's forcing. But then what if g5, what are we missing here? It has to be g5 right away. You see, this is the thing. There's so many good moves. This, this, this. So we have to be accurate. Bishop f6, then g5. Why not queen before? 
Okay, we already talked about that. <laughs> um, queen b4, f5. So, queen b4, let me take a look at that one too. I mean, again. Okay, so wait, wait. Um, queen b4. Let's say they move. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is primarily for YouTube. Like I do mainly YouTube. I'm just doing Twitch because I have the option to send it to Twitch as well. But if you notice, I think even the audio is not synced. I haven't figured out how to fix it. But yeah, mainly I do YouTube, guys. It's uh, this is to supplement the YouTube the chess course that we have on YouTube, and the live streams are for that too. It's just that I have the option to send it to Twitch too, and that's what I'm doing. Bishop f6 looks more promising. Okay. Um, okay, let me see. Don't give up yet, guys. Yeah, we are everywhere. <laughs> okay, that's good. I guess sometimes it, it, it's, it goes bad, but well, that's good. Okay, guys, we have spent, typically when we do tactics, we allocate four minutes per exercise. And we have taken too, too long here. So let's see. Um, queen before they move. I get a rook. Bishop d2 takes, takes, takes. So we are left with two bishops and rook versus 300 pieces. More pawns. There's still this pain over here. So I don't know how they're going to solve it. Yeah, no, no. It has to be queen before, guys. If we look deeper, uh, just imagine that position. King is over here. All of this is gone. And I'm still doing the fork. So maybe they move the knight. Bishop g2. My rook is gonna get out. No, I, I think I'll go with that anytime. So I'm gonna go queen before. If it's wrong, it's wrong. But no, it has to be the move. Yeah, you see? But you see, guys, we have to calculate. We have to challenge ourselves. What if they do this? What if they do that? Because it's not about getting it right, it's about improving. That's it, we got it. So you guys got it, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the kind of move that is nice. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You took it back, man. You took it back. Yeah, this one has to be it. And there's nothing they could do to stop the checkmate. Yep. Now, you see, as we move up the ladder with these exercises, they start requir requiring a different, a different kind of thinking. So it's not so much about now the forcing moves, but really capturing the ideas in uh, checkmate patterns. So that has to be it. And there are no checks. So that has to be it. Now, the only thing they could do to delay it is rook here, but then we just take it. So that's it. Ah, we go, we called it. So this is where I want you guys to be, calling their defenses, their replies. So you have to consider whatever reply they do. The, the sophisticated ones and the silly ones, we have to be aware of them. That's it, and mate. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So this is made in four. If I'm right, this is forced made in four. Life happened. One tactic at a time. <laughs> Give me the whole thing, give me the whole thing. No, 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 ah, come on, come on. This is here, this is here. Now, it's checkmate in four moves, so you either give me the whole thing, don't be lazy, or just give me something more concrete that we know you got it. And, and, okay, let me, let me see. 
Okay, now we got it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. I'm gonna have to just switch to, to Twitch completely, guys. My, my, my friends from YouTube are just lazy today. Check, check, and mate. Now, before I do it, guys, try to visualize everything in your head. G2, king takes, queen g3 check, forced to go back here. I cannot do queen h2 because of the knight, so I take here first. My knight is guarding g1, so they have to block, and then mate. So, and mate. There we go. We made it to 36. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I only see here. I don't know what I don't even know what I see. I think I see the combined Twitch and YouTube. I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Perfect. So guys, this is a very well known pattern. Um, Queen F2, they have to take or we checkmate, and then we use that pin for the background checkmate. Perfect. Ooh, no, nope, not bishop, not bishop. Bishop is just not forcing enough. Okay, Richard, Richard. Remember what I told you, Richard? The question is, does this pattern like you? That, that's, that's the question. Okay, yeah, but then the whole thing, you gotta consider, I mean, I'm not gonna ask you to put it down here, but you guys gotta consider everything. Yes, we look at checks, this is promising. If it goes back, this is going to be mate. But what else could they do? Are they forced to only go back and they do something else? Well, they could, they could go to G7, and I know it's the same thing, but we have to consider it. So check, and then mate, perfect. Bishop a6, there you go. Oof, we made it to 38. Good. Good. Okay, so let's take that as a candidate move 95. That's the first one. And then rookie seven, another candidate move. <laughs> All right, let's, let's disconnect Twitch then. <laughs> uh, attack on rook on G6. On G6. Oh, wait, wait, but these are connected. So, okay. Just think, think, think. You know what? Let me bring the timer on, guys. Let me bring the timer on, because I think you're just not taking this seriously. Ah, timer is here. Say hello to my little, <laughs> little timer. Um, let me see if I can just move it up a little bit. All right, there we go. Very good. OK, so we got three minutes. Actually, let me put it back and, okay, four minutes. Let's see if we can find this, because now they're getting tougher. Uh, okay, more candidate moves, more candidate moves, good. I think you just, you just lost focus. Guys, that's another thing important. If you ever are training chess, you feel like you're uh, reaching that level, you're, I don't know, fatigued or tired, you gotta push through, you gotta push through. In a real game, you're gonna get tired as well. You have to learn to push through. Okay, so let's see. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that I'm down material, right? I'm down an exchange, so I need to consider that. 
remove the timer. No, come on. You got to calculate. You got to be able to calculate this in four minutes. You have to. You have to. No, 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 no. We're trying to, we're trying to keep it private. This is, we're trying to keep it just only a few amount of people. We don't have room for everyone. So, but thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. What do we got? Okay. So let me see. We got 2.45. Okay, I think I like this. Okay, so wait, wait, 97, bishop e7, queen e... Yeah, but the thing is that if you go 97, bishop e7, queen e5, they have bishop f6. Now guys, I think, honestly, it has to be 95, but try to calculate everything, okay? Okay, but then... No, no, no. I think, like, look, if I go, for example, 95, something like queen a2, I'm going to take, they take, then I go queen d, queen e8, and even my rook is coming down after, I'm also, I'm hitting h5, this has to be winning for us. So, if 95, bishop takes, queen takes, um, knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes, king goes up, rook d7, this has to be winning. This has to be winning. Now, the other variation that I wanted to calculate is 95. What if rook g2? And if rook g2 or even rook g4, then I calculated knight f7. King h7 only move because my knight is here. Then knight f5, knight 5 to h6. Discover check. Oh, that doesn't make much sense. Now, guys, be right back. Think, think, think. We got 30 seconds. Time's up, what did we decide on? Uh, okay, so let me see. 95, rook g2. Knight f7, king a7. Okay, 97, better. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tricky, tricky. Yeah, guys, look, it, this one's, even if you don't get them, um, even if you don't calculate, the, if you don't get them correct, just try to calculate. This is a good one to set it up on the board, have it there, have it there for 15, 20 minutes, two hours, an entire day. Just go back to it whenever you have time. Practice calculation. And if it gets blurry, push through. This is what we need. We need to get to the point where you calculate and it doesn't get as blurry. But anyhow, um, let me quickly here remove that timer i don't want any pressure on you guys okay so 95 there we go oh queen a2 you guys called that one okay so here i think it's just knight g6 i'm okay with this that's it boom we got that one and you see we calculated we calculated even though it was just they, they were only asking for two moves we got a lot out of this exercise all right so if we get this one we make it to 40 all right <laughs> okay this one it looks like it right e6 they have no way to stop it if they take 
then discovery on the rook. Now, what if we do discovery on the, uh, on the rook first? What's the difference? I know th this cannot be right, but what's the difference? What's the difference? Okay, maybe they go here. Then e6, check, and they get in the, they get in the way. That could be it. Now, if I go here, what if they go here? e7, then check, I just got out of the way. And my rook is here. Okay, it has to be that. Okay, what if rook c2? Okay, e6, no, rook c2, we just go towards the rook. We're hitting the rook and then we're gone. Okay, rook c4, rook d4. Okay, you guys are you, you are on it. Okay, there you go. And next one. Now, this one should be easy, but it is what it is. Rook b7, it has to be that, that's it. Rook b7, and okay, you see, here we didn't, I should have asked you for more. No, c6 first wouldn't work. Mm -mm. Um, well, let me actually put it here, guys, that way you can calculate. Yeah, rook b7 we know, king c8, but what's the follow-up? c6, no, I don't think that's the move. No, that cannot be the move. That cannot be the move. Could it be the move? Cha cha cha. Hold up. <laughs> Is it the move? No, I don't think that's the move. No, that's not the move. Wait, wait, wait. Um, you should see before you give the rook check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to consider. Yeah, you're right. We have to consider everything. You're right. I forgot that. Rook a seven. Why not? Uh, Rook b7, rook king c8, rook in 7 nope, nope. Uh, okay, th this is why. This is the why. So I'm, what, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought of this. I take the rook, they take me king d7, and I'm going to promote in two steps because this com comes with a check. And these are really far from promotion. So I think this has to be it, guys. Now, it's a good question. What's wrong with c6? So I guess we can take a look at it after, but let me check. Yeah, this is right. Now we go and we promote. Now, what's wrong with c6? I mean, I guess I could just move. Oops, sorry. I could just move here. No, I could just move away. My, We've talked about the Philly door endgame on lesson 50, 53, 54. We talked about it. Like, it's going to be hard for you to, to win this, even with opponent c6. So anyways, king d7, check, and we promote. All right. <clears throat> ah, there you go, going back to the basics. All right, we made it to 41. Mm, this is nice. This is a nice one. Haha, <laughs> this is a nice one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the move. That's the move. That's the move. So we got to realize a few things here. Um, Queen F3, of course, we're looking. Okay, checks. This doesn't work. Taking doesn't work. Even you, we have to consider g3, but I mean, they take us, we take, they leave, no big deal. But then queen f3, very subtle move, we hit the rook, but then here we have to consider what if they move, or castle, and what if they do bishop d5. We have to consider this move, guys. Doesn't work, we could just take it, because there's a pin, but uh, we have to consider it. And of course, if they just, let's say, castle, we go rook e4, and we get material. 
Um, okay, there's queen d8. There's queen d8. Okay, queen f3. Queen d8. <laughs> You're right. So can we do queen c6? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we that. Yeah, no, then we have queen c6. Good. You see, I didn't consider that move. So if they go here, I get the rook. And if they just move to the dark squares, I take and I get the bishop anyways. Woof. That's what makes this a difficult tactic. I didn't consider this, so good call. Queen f3, and look at what they give us. Simple stuff, but man, so nice that you consider that. And now here we take, because when they take us, we take back, we get the bishop as well. Perfect, all right. Okay, this one, it's nice. Um, why to move? Now, for this one, guys, we come into this position cold. We don't really know what's going on. So I try to at least count the material to see, am I winning? Am I losing? Is it even? What kind of tactic am I looking for? It doesn't look like a checkmate tactic because there's no way we can get that close to the king. But anyways, um, four binary pieces, queen to rooks, three seven pawns, three eight pawns. Okay, so this is a queen's gambit. Accepted. And okay, so this one should be simple then. This is simple. Bishop d65, bishop d6 and fork. Yeah, that, that should be it. If I, okay, there you go, good. Now, I think this is it, but it looks too simple. So is there anything that we should be aware of? I think that's it. Any in between moves here? We take back, now this has to be it. Okay, that's it. That's it, and we made it to 43. There you go, there you go, perfect. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Okay, this one is easy. I don't know what's going on. I think these guys feel bad, feel bad for me because I'm struggling with this so often that they give me easy ones now in the in the forties. But this one should be easy. Made in three, yeah, that's made in three. <laughs> yeah, oh, nope, I don't think knight g3 belongs here. No, 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 no. Queen h4, but come on, Roberto, don't be lazy. What else? Queen h4, give me the follow-up. Give me everything. Nope, 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 nope. No, no. If knight g3, I just go king, king h2. Good luck checkmating me there. No, that's not checkmate, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have a saying in Spanish. If it's not Juana, it's her sister. If it's not one move, it has to be the other one. So this one is check, we take, and then rook h2 checkmate. Knight and rook checkmate, guys. Come on. And that's it. No, 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 no. What do you mean resign? Trade. There you go, guys. Simple pawn end games. We take, and then we just get there faster. The king is out of the of the box. So remember, we think of the next move we're going to take with the pawn. We draw a square or a box. If the king cannot get in it in the next move, we're good. So that's it. All right, forty-five. Perfect. 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 Now for this one, also calculate, okay? Don't be like, oh, it must be this. Let me do the first move and see what happens. Try to calculate. Notice that we are down a piece, okay? So we have one minor piece, they have two minor pieces. Mm 
think. Give me the whole thing. Give me the whole thing. Or at least the final move if you don't want to type in everything. And, like, what if they go here, for example? Like, queen g4, king f2, rook h2, king e1. I don't know. Be careful with some knight a5 and things like that here. You just con that, just consider everything. Mm. All right. So let's do it. And now, <laughs> okay, I hope you calculated this far. So do we get the rook? Someone said queen g2, queen g1, rook h1. Like what I would do guys, I mean, of course, calculate to see if you see any checkmates or something like that, but if queen f3, can they get us in trouble? Knight f5, for example. Well, I guess we just take, then check. I don't know, I don't know about this, check. I guess we're fine. I guess we're fine. And we always, after we take, we have this skewer. Queen g2. Okay, take the rook or... <laughs> okay, so let me see. We got this far. Queen the rook, take the rook or queen g2. Now, queen g2, I don't really see. Or do we? So what's the move? Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Take the rook. I wish I could have like one of those surveys to see <laughs> how many of you say take the rook. Okay, so if we take the rook, we have a winning position. That's right. Now, are we going to get checkmated? Maybe knight d8. Here. No. Knight d5. I go here. No, we're not gonna get checkmated. All right, we take it. All right, that's it, that's it. And now we just need to get away. That's on me, that one is on me, you see? Until the last moment, we have to be careful. Ah, oh, come on. So careful for nothing, okay. <laughs> Queen G8, no, no, we're good, we're good. <laughs> All right, guys, no worries. Let's go to the next one. King B6. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even think. I was like, just escape. That was a good moment to stop. But anyhow, we got only one wrong. We have two more chats and we're at 45. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, so this one I think I got it, but Okay, this one think this one I think we're good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's not the first time. Hopefully the last one, but not the first time. Hi right, guys, this one is pretty nice. I think this is like uh, the classical tactic from a textbook, but uh, take your time. Yeah, now it's a lot about accuracy. Accurate until the last move. Yeah, that has to be, it has to be the first move. But then try to calculate everything. Yeah, it has to be 95, 95. Good, good. <laughs> okay. So look, I think it's um, 95. I'm threatening mate, hitting the bishop as well with the fork. 
If they go bishop f8, we gotta consider it. I think knight h6 check because of the pin. King h8 check and we get the rook. If knight f5 pawn takes, then knight d5 hitting that hitting that queen. They cannot take us because of checkmate. Don't forget the bishop is here. And then if knight f5 pawn takes, knight d5, queen leave somewhere. We get the bishop, material is back. And then after that, not only can we get the rook, but there are also some ideas with bishop f6. So that has to be the move. Okay, this move. Now let me double check, but I think this is fine. Is there any knight d5? No. This is what we calculated, right? Mm, has to be this. That's it. Okay, good. Doesn't hurt to double check, especially after the latest experience we had. Okay, good. This is a uh, one, two, three, four. I, I see checkmate in four. So if you want, let me know just the last move, guys. If you see the whole thing, give me the last move. Notice that we're about to get checkmated here, too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, I personally, I think I, I saw at the beginning, the best I've done is 55 uh, on my own. Now with you, maybe we get, we get further. <laughs> but I think last time we did it, we got to 40 and then we stopped. I don't know if it's because we had to play some games after or whatever, but um, yeah, let's see if we can make it at least to 50. Mm, no, I don't think that's the last move. No, I don't think that's the last move. Okay, this is the last move. Yeah, after queen c6, king goes to a5 and then before. So I'm thinking, guys, if you didn't find it, at least try to do it in your head, follow along in your head. So check, actually no arrows. Well, queen d8, king c5, queen c7, king b5. Notice that we're leaving our opponent with only one reply. Then queen c6, king a5, pawn before checkmate. So check, 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 mate. All right. Uh, this one should be easy, but let's take our time. Yeah, that that's tough. That's 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 tough. I, I remember when I got to 55, that was like, <sighs> yeah, made in two. This is made in two. We look at the checks first. This knight is controlling this square, so queen h7, only move, and then mate. Now guys, one thing is for certain, this is something you should be doing um, at least twice a week. So what I like to do is I like one of each, one three minute one, one five minute one, and then I do the I do the, the survival one. But if you cannot do the three, do at least one of those. But you, the weeks cannot go by and you're only playing games. You have to do some tactics training, do something else, okay? Ed, Ed in the house. Uh, yep, survival. We've made it to 48. One wrong, which we had, we've solved it. But then I, I put it in fast at the end, and I just missed a little. Yeah, survival. We've made it to 48. We got two more chats to go. <laughs> no excuses, guys. No excuses. <laughs> Yes, that's, that's important, that's important. So you have to, whenever you, you, you see yourself in that situation, just stop, just go do, that's why I like the survival one, because I could be 
maybe I'm in a hurry, I need to do something, I could go do that thing, come back, it's gonna be there. You could be the whole day working on a survival. But make sure that when you do the move, it's because you calculate it. That's why you play in a real game. Um, queen f5, okay. So, is that it? I think that's it. It has to be it. He has rook of six. <laughs> you see, at least we are thinking that way. What could they do? Is there any surprise? We gotta get really good at that. All right, take your time, guys. We're not rushing this one. We're already getting to 50. We really have to think. Ooh, that one is nice. Queen a four, rook a three, queen a four. That one is nice, queen a four. Yeah, that's what we were missing. That's what we were missing. Now, still, we double check. Queen a four, rook a three, check. If they take, we, if they block with the pawn we take, queen c2, that's it. Um, mm, all right, it has to be that. There we go. Check. Perfect. And now I guess we just take. Oh wait. Ah, you see? Haha. <laughs> Should we take here first? No, they take. And we got no queen. So okay. At least we considered it. All right, guys. Forty-nine. Come on. Ah, this is nice. This is a nice one. <laughs> yeah, he found it. That was a nice one. That was a nice find. Okay, guys, this one is cool. Shouldn't be that complicated. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome aboard. Haha, <laughs> true. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, hello from Ghana. Nice. Yeah, I think we have friends here from all over the world. But I think you're the first one from Ghana. I don't remember anyone else from Ghana. Ah, there you go. You got it. Made in three, made in three, made in three. Perfect. Queen sack, guys, that's it. So queen is to check. They have to take with the knight. Then knight g3, it's nice that the knight is blocking the king, so the king is forced to go to g1, then bishop e3, so knight and bishop checkmate. That's it. Knight is controlling this two, bishop is hitting the king. That's it. Perfect. Interesting, 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 but that was a better one. <laughs> so this one material is even is it no no we're down a piece they just captured a knight on f3 okay <clears throat> hmm You got it, you got it. See you on Thursday, okay? Okay, guys, see you, see you on Thursday. We'll let you know how it went today. Okay, but try to calculate the whole thing, because nice is seven, what if king d8? Don't forget this is being attacked as well. <laughs> the whole thing, guys, the whole thing. What's the whole thing?
you know, I don't think I, I don't think so. I don't think so. And let me tell you this. Um, like, I think maybe maybe you could do it like that, but it's way more complicated. I think that we just gotta get really good at training our brain to quickly look for checks. Like everything started there with a check, Queen H2. But what happens is that a lot of us we see a move like Queen H2, sacrificing the Queen, and we say like, oh no no, it cannot be that. We're, we're dropping the Queen instead of looking into okay let me see queen h2 let me really see on the board the knight taking on h2 oh look at this the knight is blocking the king now from going up do i have any other checks yes i have knight g3 i have knight f2 let me look and you go from there so yes it helps if you've seen patterns before that's 90 percent of it but i think it's more practical if we just get really good at finding checks and then being able to visualize three four five moves down the road because here, if you cannot see exactly where the pieces are to move down the road, you're not gonna find that find that final bishop e3. Maybe I'm wrong, but I that's my take. That's my take. Don't don't feel like oh it has to be this. If I don't know all of the patterns, I wouldn't know. Like I had a student of mine who he'll come to me. He'll be like oh this checkmate. Oh this is the Anastasia. This is this one. Like he knew the name for every single checkmate pattern and so on. I didn't know any, so I've never learned it like that. And I don't think that makes a big difference. It's good to know it if you're, if you're a chess player, but don't feel like you need to uh, in order to, to find these exercises. I don't know. I don't know about taking the rook. Knight d7, queen d7, then knight takes rook. Okay, so I get a pawn, fair trade, I get a rook, they get a bishop. No, I don't think this, uh, this cannot be it. It just cannot be it. I'm thinking knight c7, king d8, knight e6, check. They have to go back. No, 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 wait. wait. What did I say? Knight c7, knight e6. They have to go here. If they go back to e6, I take on g7 with check. So they have to go to c8. So at that point, I have my knight here, queen, and bishop. So I think I would just, if I'm playing a game, I would just take, then take on f3, and I keep my knight on e6. But doesn't look promising either. Knight d6 doesn't look promising either. Exactly. Yeah. The thing is, I, I, I'm not so sure because we are gonna be material down. Yeah. We just you know these are moves that we have to consider. And you see, going back to what I said before, we gotta look at checks. Look at checks. No, no, it's, it just takes, it just takes practice. It takes training, it takes practice. Training, 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 practice. And it's like anything else in life. It, it takes time. We gotta practice, it just takes time. It is what it is. Some people, they have, you know, uh, it's easier for them to see, to excel at some parts of chess, like visualization or strategy. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling, I don't know if you saw, there was a tweet, uh, a very good friend from Twitter, he was asking for advice. So I told him, look, I checked, I, I took a look at your, the latest 10 games, the last 10 games you've played on chess.com. And this is something that I do with my students. I looked at every game and in the first 20 moves, either he or his opponent blunder a piece, like a clean piece, like a hanging piece. So that's something that he needs to correct before he can think of strategy and end games like you have to correct that so he's, re he's he let me know he's working really hard on that and the same thing with these guys if you're not able to visualize to move down the road that should be the first thing you correct before you continue to learn openings and end games and things like that um okay let me see <laughs> no i'm not friends with elon, elon musk <laughs> not even on twitter um kindy okay i believe Knight c7, knight e6, queen d7, bishop e3 is the best way we can do. Okay, if your brain hurts, let's stop it. Let's go. It has to be knight e6. Now, now that we put a move in, double check. So queen d7, I take the rook, so I'm up on exchange. Then they take my bishop. They got two pieces for the rook. My knight is trapped. They're hitting my rook. They're taking the pawn. It cannot be it. It just cannot be it. 
check we're good we're good that far now here i try to look for you know it would be nice to have some checks or some threats but i don't see anything so we have to take they take and then right there i considered hey, what happened here okay good i think you guys can still see me <laughs> yeah maybe that was uh I, okay thank you got it glad to hear that it worked okay i think it has to be it right just take and then take on f3 that's it look at that it was that but you know it's good it's good that we are pushing ourselves by now a lot of you guys should be tired i am feeling it but we gotta keep pushing in a real tournament game you might be sitting there for three four five hours so we gotta get we gotta get used to it okay so this is 51 good Yeah, I thought of Rook B3 and things like that, but is it necessary? I don't think so. Mm, maybe, yes. <laughs> no, can I be it? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think I found it. And then cha, cha, cha. I found it, I found it, I found it. Found it, found it, found it. I found it, I found it, I found it. There's a way, guys, there's a way. There's hope, there's hope. <laughs> Trap queen, yep. Rook a5, queen c6, knight d4. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Very good, man, very good. So, boom, boom. Yeah, they had to give it. If they had, if they had done this move uh, we take if they had gone to c6 knight d4 that way we cover e6 as well so they took oop and that's how we made it to 52 yeah yeah, yeah we have to we had to consider that <laughs> All right, man, no worries. Uh, thanks for being here and Anyways, this is going to be left on YouTube if you want to finish it later, okay? Yeah, your knight c5 has to be the move, but then I'm thinking, what if queen e8, queen f6, queen b5? Actually, looks very promising. Five. No, no, but then bishop b7. Yeah, that has to be it. Now, did you guys consider bishop f4? Like if knight c5, bishop f4 check, I guess we take, they take our queen. We gotta consider it. I don't think it's a big deal, but we gotta consider it. So knight c5, bishop f4, we take on f4. They gotta take our queen. We take the queen back with the knight, and we're still defending, so that's not a problem. Knight g5 for the fork, yeah, but if knight g5, they could just go back, right? 
Besides, Nasty Five is hitting that B7. I, I'm very, I think it has to be that. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we at least we considered it. Okay, let's see. Nice C5. I guess we just take back. Okay, you see, this is the we had to consider that bishop f4. That's it. Good. All right, we made it to 53. Good, good, good. Okay, so here we're down, look, this is, uh, <laughs> we're down a piece, pawn is about to promote, so something tells me this has to be forcing, probably looking for checkmate here. And it's interesting that they don't have really any powerful checks. Well, bishop f6 could be a powerful check. But then I just go to h8. Okay, so I, the checks are taken care of, even if they promote, it's not going to be check. Bishop g7, we take it back. So I'm thinking check, 92. And we're hitting checkmate over here. Is there anything that they could do to escape it? F3. Okay, we, now we have to consider all of these things. Queen B1. Oh, okay, that one is better, Ed. That one is better. If it goes here, Queen F1. There's nothing to stop the checkmate. That's it. So, hey, <laughs> I was looking at 92. And then I was like, if f3, I could go queen e1. But no, this has to be the move. Nice. That has to be the move. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, queen h2, queen g1. No, no, directly we can't, because then I cannot help us. Queen f1. Yeah, 92 came to mind too, but queen f1 has to be better, guys. So let's do it. That's it. Now, this is where we can so easily mess it up. When we're doing these tactics, when we are playing games, your opponent is looking for that last trick. So all I need to know, is, all I need to know, all I need to look for is a move that keeps me away from any checks. Like if I go here, there might be some checks. So I think this has to be the move, but we took care of this before anything else, right? So no checks other than this, we take back. That's it, and this is mate. Good job, guys. That was a good one. That was a good one. No, no, no. There was no way. There was no way. Okay, we made it to 54. All right. I think my record on my own was 55. <laughs> Can I shed? Good. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. But I've been there myself. <laughs> so it's not impossible. Yeah, but they're nice, especially when you start seeing these kind of moves in your games. It's really nice. Okay, so here we're being forked, black to move. We are, okay, material is even, so let's see. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, but this one I don't think is forcing enough. This is this has to be it. Just give me the rook. Then that's it. That's it. If they take here, taking advantage of this pin, we deflect and we collect. I gotta tell you, I hadn't looked into it deeply yet, but I had not even realized I could take the knight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you mean check down here? Yeah, yeah. All right. That was a good one. That was a very good one. Oh, no, no. Oof, you see? That's me already getting tired. Perfect. All right. So you guys got to where I typically got to my best, my best score. All right. So why to move? This is a good moment, guys, to if you need to take a break, take a break, drink some water.
Okay, this one is... Uh, this one is see, again, like I've said before, exercises like this, we might feel the need to be like, oh, I think it's rook a7. Let me just do it and see what happens. No, let's try to do it in our head. Let's try to improve. Let's try to improve. Um... Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it. So I see one, two, three, checkmate in four moves. <laughs> yeah, you're very really tired. You're very really tired. I know the feeling. Uh, okay, so what are you guys talking about? Let me see. Check them, discover with queen. Guys, be specific. Now we're tired. If you do, you're not specific, we cannot follow you. Uh, okay, rook f7, no. No, no, no. Okay, rook a7, king g8, rook f8, this is what I got. Um, okay, rook f8, rook f8, rook h8, king h8, queen f8. Yeah, that, this is what I found. Are we, am I right? Are we right or not? So, even if you didn't find it, guys, try to do it in your head. Visualize this. Check, forced to go to g8, then check, forced to take, then check on h8, and then if they move up, we just take here. So, if they take then queen f8 checkmate now try to do it in your head again i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna put it right here try to visualize it at least okay that's a four move checkmate okay mister good luck tomorrow at work i'll see you on thursday and this is going to be recorded on youtube so you can check it out after okay okay that makes sense let's do it And let me double check. Okay, okay. So now we don't get ahead of, ahead of ourselves. 98% it has to be with the queen, but then what if they go here? Mm. Bishop f5? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's on, man. It's on. I'm gonna be watching you. Whatever you get next week, I'm gonna I'm gonna break it again. <laughs> Picture by five. Yeah, we got that one. Now let's see. Let's see this one. Welcome back, welcome back. These are now easy. These ones are easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, queen g3. <sighs> queen g3, Frank. Come on, Frank. Threading mate. Discovery. they take oh no you have root b2 as well so i'm thinking queen g3 f2 if they go here i guess we just promote and then it's just too much oof Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Queen G2, Rook B1, Rook B1, Rook B8. Yeah, Queen G3 seems like the move. 
okay now we just could go in between now here we have to be careful i guess if we take we're good but is this mate no they just block yeah we just take okay all right yeah yeah i was considering that but no 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 it, it looks like it's just crushing queen g3 is just crushing oof beautiful beautiful you see that's a theme that is good to reinforce that's a, that it didn't even come to mind okay so black to move <laughs> yep you told us you told us Oh yes, they're getting more intense and we and we are getting weaker. <laughs> yeah, Roberto got here now, he took a break. Ed, he just came along at the end. Let's see. Queen C4. Okay, Queen C4. I was more like looking at these moves. Queen C4, I, I considered it, but I didn't even look deep into it. Queen C4, take, take. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, stop, stop, leave it here. Go, no, no, guys, look here first. Look here first. Um, black to move. Look over here first. Mm. Not fun, you guys. Stop it. Now this one I can I, I gotta tell you I think it's one of these two, but I I just cannot calculate that much. I'm already tired. I'm already. Oh, queen b1 is interesting too. <sighs> Is that any better? Let me check. So Queen D one, Kenny four. Queen D one, Kenny four. Oh, wait, wait. What if king d4? Hmm. Too many variations, huh? <laughs> queen d1, okay, king, king e4, rook e2, king d5. Hmm, but what if they go king f5? And queen d3. <laughs> I collect the queen. Queen d1, king e4, queen g4. Okay, that one looks more promising. And they're forced to go king e4. So we take, we go queen g4. Let's try to calculate from there. So if the king goes back then we have queen two go to four yeah that one is good okay so queen d1 queen g4 yeah 
this is just like the ladder they go here same thing yeah that has to be it that has to be it all right guys let's see let's see if we can make it to 60 if we make it to 60 then we might as well just finish because i'm just going here with what you say uh are we missing this is good now do we just go for the queen or do we keep going with the i think we have to do rook f6 because if we go here 96 uh huh. Tough, 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 tough. Tough, 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 tough. And. Okay, this one should be, yeah, this, this has to be, yeah, I think the detail here to realize is that after this move, we cannot take right away. We have to go bishop takes, pawn takes, b5, because if we just take, they get in front, wait, wait. And king f5, king f3, no, 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 this is winning too. Oh, no, 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 no. Do they have king e5? I don't know, I think it's, they takes b5. Everything is on the control. C7, we take. They go here. Then we go around. Take in this. No, what am I? Or is it just this? If they go king f4, we go. If they go king c4, then this is easy. b5, king e4. Am I missing something? That's it, and then we go. King C5 first. <laughs> yeah, it was King C5 first. King C5 first. If not, the king goes after the pawn. That, that's why. All right, guys. All right. We don't deserve. If G4. F2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not to be allowed. You're right. Playing fast. We don't deserve getting to 60. Okay, now this is. What is this? What is this? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Tricky, tricky. Yeah, but, you know, we should know better than that. Anyways, anyways, we got one more chat and two more to go to make it to 60. Easy peasy? What is it? I mean, I'm looking at just taking and then taking king e7, but it's just that we're losing by too much, right? By so much right now that I don't even know if that's all. So I'm trying to think after king e7, do we have anything else or do we have something better right now? Like we don't have queen f6, but something like that would be nice. Okay, queen h8, queen h8, all right. And now we gotta take, and then here, what do we do? So I saw this far, but then what's the continuation? Oof, could it be bishop e8? Because they have some. Seven, queen a8. No, queen a8, they just take us, right? Oop. Queen g7, I see three. We take. There's so much going on here now. <laughs> Mm 
No, I guess we just, if rook d8, we just go down here. If any discoveries, we just hide. But where do we hide? I think we just, we always get out. Let's give it a try. Yep, we got a take. King d1, only check when we take. That's it. All right, so this is the last one, guys. If we get it right, we make it to 60. If we get it wrong, we didn't make it to 60. <laughs> so let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. We did not, there were not many options. You don't, you don't mean that. You don't mean that. <laughs> let's go. Let's see. You guys are killing it. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, first candidate move. Let's take this one as well. Yeah, ninety three pawn takes queen a three. What if king goes? I guess we have checks after anyways. Here, here we got queen b two. And of course, there's mate as well after. So knight d3, pawn takes, queen a3, king here. Do we have check? Or even c2 check? Check. Yeah, I think we have some ideas. If king d1, we have check, check, and then c2 and promote with a checkmate or something like that. Also, there are ideas with bringing the bishop in. Now, if knight d3, do they have to take? What if they don't take? Well, I guess we have queen a3 anyways. Or, yeah, they didn't have to take. Now what? Now what, boys? <laughs> Pretend like you're playing this in a real game. What would you play? I think queen a3 has to be the move, and it's nice that they don't have any serious checks over here. Like even if they go like this, I just probably run away. I don't want. I don't want to get checked. Mm -mm -mm. All right, that's the move. And now what? Queen c1 or knight f4? Four is nice. Now it has to be queen c1, guys. Check and then, like I'm thinking, queen c1, if they do something like this, check and then c2, c1. Queen c1, right? Get out of here. Get out of here. This is this is number 60 that we're about to do, man. What do you mean fork? <laughs> right, guys, if it's wrong, it's wrong, but it has to be queen c1. That's it. Now, do we take or do we run away? <sighs> yeah, we just we just take. Then take with the bishop, take with king. <laughs> Which one is not going to get us in check? What do you mean wait? Okay, if I go here, the only check is with the queen, I block again, there's nothing else. If I take with the king, they even have this. It has to be with the bishop. <laughs> That's it, guys. We made it, to, we made it to, yeah, we made it to 60. I'm going to leave it here because we could keep going, keep going for three hours. I'm even hungry already. <laughs> so that said, uh, I'm going to drop it here. Thanks a lot for being here. And again, we're doing this mainly to... Because uh, I know a lot of you get so busy or forget whatever you don't like to do tactics that you don't do it And we have to at least two times a week try to do one of these puzzle rush This is one of the best creations they have made because it allows you to hit basic patterns then intermediate more advanced and of course it forces you also to calculate Visualize and we get to learn new patterns as well like these ones if we keep going they're gonna get they're gonna require really nice uh, sophisticated patterns that maybe we don't know Send me a screenshot, my friend. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. See you on Thursday for our live stream. There we're going to be just playing games. And then Saturday, then Lesson 186 is coming out. So I'll see you then, okay?